Hi friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and in this video I will be solving this problem. This is from CSIR NET uh, December 2016. So uh, the problem given here is you have this benzaldehyde and it is treated with this several reagents. Uh, several rea reaction conditions are given and you have to predict what will be the correct answer. Four options are given you can see. Now uh, if you look at the reagents given uh, you will think that this reaction is very complicated because a lot of reagents are there but when I will solve the problem you will see it is a very easy problem and uh, for this problem you just need one concept and that I will discuss here. So let's start today's topic. So uh, if you look at the reaction condition, first uh, TMSCN is given that is trimethyl silyl cyanide along with zinc iodide. Now zinc iodide will act as, as some Lewis acid because we know that this type of reagents act as Lewis acid and in the second condition LDA is given uh, and along with that isopropyl iodide is given. So from the from these reaction conditions we, we may guess that LDA will act as base basically and this isopropyl iodide will act as some alkylating agent. So alkylation of this uh, thing will occur, this benzaldehyde will occur and then hydrolysis and that things. Now uh, if you look at the reagent given it is benzaldehyde right. So benzaldehyde has only one position for alkylation that is this position and if you want to do any sort of alkylation here that is if you want to put any R group here you need to do umpolang with this center right because uh, there is no other hydrogen atom that you can abstract with base. So this aldehyde hydrogen atom is the only option and if you want to uh, react it with some uh, electrophile because uh, isopropyl iodide given here is basically electrophile. So you need to do umpolang with the, this right and here also umpolang will occur and you will see within a moment. Uh, before that I want to tell you that if you want more videos on umpolang I have a video on umpolang where I discussed uh, several other options that how you can do umpolang. You can watch that. The link is above this uh, video. Okay. Now uh, we will see how umpolang occurs here. So we have this benzaldehyde molecule. Now the role of this zinc chloride is basically it will act as a Lewis acid. So it will coordinate with it. Jaden. Uh, I2 so that will acquire delta negative charge over here because it will withdraw electron from this pi bond so that will make this oxygen atom uh, electronegative okay or electron rich actually it will drag electron from here uh, you may think that oxygen atom becomes positively charged but it will weaken this pi bond and uh, that will make this oxygen atom nucleophilic so now you have this TMSCN here so this oxygen can attack on this TMSCN it will give you this O TMS here you will have positive charge and here you have this hydrogen okay and now in this step you can see this cyanide is removing okay now this cyanide can attack over here so you will get this O TMS here you have hydrogen, here you have cyanide. So now you can see this is the same type of intermediate which happens when you do the benzoin condensation. In benzoin condensation what happens? So you have benzaldehyde and you just treat it with cyanide. Okay. So the same thing happens but uh, the thing, the attack of the cyanide is even facilitated here because you already put positive charge on oxygen due to this TMS oxygen uh, coordination okay now you have LDA so LDA will uh, deprotonate from here so you will get here O TMS and this negative charge will be stabilized into this cyanide group 
so you will have this okay now you are giving isopropyl iodide so this is your isopropyl iodide so this will attack here and it will do the alkylation so ph o t m s cyanide and here you have this isopropyl group okay now the third reaction condition is treatment of uh, h plus h2o so if you treat it with h plus h2o this tms uh, the protection will be removed and you will have oh over here here you have cyanide and this group now you can see uh, in the next reaction condition you can see aqueous it is treated with aqueous sodium hydroxide so now if you put aqueous sodium hydroxide so deprotonation will occur from here so you will get o minus here you have cyanide this and now this oxygen negative charge will push and this cyanide will go so you will get this okay so that's how you get this product now you can see this option four will be the correct answer so you can see this is a very easy problem if you know the concept of umpolang and if you uh, cleverly identify the reagents given what can be their role you can easily answer this question but uh, at first sight this may look a uh, complicated problem because lots lot of reagents are given uh, but i will suggest always that uh, don't be panic and uh, try to apply your basic instinct and your chemical intuition you will always give a, always uh, get a solution okay so that's all and thank you for watching if you are new in this channel subscribe my channel best of luck